Matt here with Mobile Solar. Today, I wanted to walk you through our most recent Brinkley project. We've got a Z3610 underneath of us, and there is 1500 watts of rich solar panels, as well as 740 watts of the Furion panels from Brinkley. So in total, we're looking at just over 2200 watts of solar. Should keep these people nice and comfortable, especially with the chill cube in the rear, that thing is super efficient. We ran two extra solar lines through this junction box here, as well as a Starlink cable headed to the rear. Let's check out the Starlink magnetic mount, and then we'll head to the inside. So we've got this magnetic mount prepped for when they get their Starlink unit. Cables run and it's tidied up using nothing but magnets. So they have plenty of slack that they can you know, unravel. Um, nothing up here would require tools. So if you pulled into a campsite and you had an obstruction that you wanted to move your Starlink away from, you can do that with no, no tools needed. Much like you've seen from us before, we've got a 24 volt system here. This is a battery that we're not gonna be naming because we won't be using again, but we've got a 24 volt battery bank here and an Orion smart charger, trickle charging the 12 volt battery here, which is used to run the jacks and the slides in your RV. We've also got two inverters here. So it's typical for us to use two inverters for a full-time off-grid customer, but this time we put them in parallel. So when we do a split phase system, we have 3000 watts on one leg and 3000 watts on the other leg. And that's awesome, but you still can really only run one air conditioner on each leg, because typically a 3000 watt inverter can't run two air conditioners at once. However, when we put them in parallel, we now have 6,000 watts to the entire RV. There's no distinction between leg one and leg two. So it's very easy for these two MultiPlus inverters to power all three air conditioners and the microwave and pretty much anything else you want all at the same time. One point to make about a split phase system is to very carefully balance the cable lengths. So the AC input and output wires from the inverter need to be carefully measured and cut to the exact same length so that the inverters can equally share the load. Otherwise, if you have one with shorter cables, that one's gonna do all the work because it's got a lower resistance to the load. So not the most beginner friendly way to do a system with two inverters, but definitely a big advantage. It also solves the problem of a built-in 5,500 watt generator. Typically those are all on line one, nothing on line two. So that's gonna really help because now both inverters can utilize line one for pass-through and battery charging. With a split phase system, you're kind of limited to only one inverter being able to utilize a you know 120 volt generator. So definitely recommend a parallel system with two of the MultiPlus two times 120 going forward. If you need a solar system designed or installed on your RV, you know who to call.